Hello, welcome, welcome. Robot and Soul here. Again, back with some Trials of Cold Steel. And uh, I think we're on part 23 now. Part 23. And here we are on the train. The whole squad's here. So, let's see how this goes. Load the game. We got some jobs to do for our field study. What is, uh, I forget, I can't even remember. I've had, like, such a long week. Like, you wouldn't even believe. Ebel Highway Monster 2. Yeah, Tobal. And practice making an offering to St. Sandlot. Okay. Let's take this one on. I have to say, it's great having you guys around. It isn't often that I just get to kick back at the guild and take care of the paperwork. And hey, it even gives me some the time to take care of some other stuff, too. Other stuff? Uh, nothing too big. Uh, guild Branch over in Crossbell just dropped me a little inquiry relating to the trade conference, actually. We're an international organization. That makes it easy to get the latest info. But it also increases our workload. So, that's how it works, huh? No wonder he always seems to be on top of things. Is there a reason behind the lack of information about this monster? A uh, simple one, yeah. I just got the report in from the, one of the townsfolk this morning. Seems like they couldn't really tell what kind of monster it was, even with a clear look at it. What exactly did the report say? They just said they saw what looked like a large, ominous shadow. Not exactly a revealing description. True, that does really tell, doesn't really tell us anything other than a rough approximation of its size. Taking on a dangerous foe with such a dearth of information is hardly ideal. Oh well, who cares? Let's just head out there and beat it to a mushy pulp already. Damn right. I see Milliam's a real co-getter regardless of the situation. Heh, <laughs> if only we were all so fearless. I'm leaving this one to you guys then. Uh, admittedly, it's probably going to be a pain in the ass, but good luck out there. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be a pain in the ass. Alright, and uh, where is... Okay, it's up there. Wait, it's up there. Okay. We're going. Ah! Uh, woman walked right out in front of me. Okay, we're going to chapel up here. I'm glad that everything's marked on the map in this. It's definitely a lot easier than most uh, JRPGs when it comes to actually finding stuff. Oh, hello everyone. Good day, Sister Faramus. Have you grown accustomed to Legrum while I was away? I have. Everyone's been so kind. And the only thing I just can't get used to is Father Ham Hamilcar's lackadaisical approach to his work. That's understandable. He has his good points, though. Really? I've yet to see him act like a responsible adult, even once. Nice. We probably shouldn't be gossiping about this, though. Probably not. Probably not. I assume you all came along because of my request, right? That's right. We'd like you to tell us a little more about it. The quest mentioned that you plan on making an offering? That's correct. I'll need a number of items in order to make it, and I'd like you to collect them for me if you're able. You have the time to take this on for me? I mean, I understand if you don't. Well, we might as well accept the request. Sure, we'll fit you in. Thank you very much. Allow me to tell you about what I need you to do. As Lady Laura knows, it's a custom here in Lagrand to hold a memorial service for St. Sandlot and the Eisenritter each year. The period in which this service is held is coming up rather soon too. That sounds like kind of a downer. Well, it's not supposed to be a lively event. The memorial service is held to mourn the brave warriors who gave their lives during the War of the Lions. Will the church be leading the service? The people here seem to have a strong belief in animism, so I... I wouldn't have expected that to be the case. Not quite, the church is just assisting with it. Animism has much deeper roots than the church is, so it's only natural that we respect that. Well, the ground seems to be similar to Nord in that regard. 
Yeah, animism's just as widely believed over there as it is here. And yet despite that, both communities believe in the church's teachings as well. Well, the church has never once denied the existence of spirits after all. In my opinion, that's one of the reasons its teachings have spread across the continent like they have. I guess Adios has a big enough heart for everyone, huh? Quite right. Getting back on topic, though. I've actually been asked to prepare an offering for the memorial service myself. Oh? Will this be your first time doing so? It will. Because of that, I'd like to practice a little before the service itself. That's why I'd like you to ask... I'd like to ask you all to collect the ingredients I need for it. Ah, so that's how it is. What exactly will you be making? I'm going to be making pretzels. Huh? Those are those bready things that look like they're all twisted into a knot. Right? That's right. However, the pretzels used for the memorial service are made to look like the spirit monument here in town. I assume you're talking about that unique looking monument in the centre of town. The very same. The pretzels here are generally baked to be rather hard, so they'll last longer. It's even said that the Eisenritter carried them into, onto the battlefield in their combat rations. I suppose that explains why you're giving pretzels as an offering, then. That's quite a fascinating historical tidbit. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a chance to see Erebonius most time-honoured pretzels. What ingredients do you need us to get, then? Ah, yes, I almost forgot. I need to collect five hearty powders, five clear gelatins, and a type of seasoning called white seed. Well, it shouldn't be too hard to beat up some monsters for that stuff, but what exactly is white seed? <laughs> Wait. Wait. <laughs> white seed? Seriously? Oh my god. White seed, you guys. They seem to be one of LaCrem's local crops, according to Father, Ham Father Hamilcar. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're not really in season right now, so none of the stores have the here have any. Well, I think that part should be simple enough, fortunately. Our household said chef should have some on hand. Oh, that's a huge weight off my shoulders. Right then, let's start our gathering. Where should we make our way to first, Laura's home or the highway? I'm fine with either. We'll have to go to both eventually anyway. An offering to the departed. Start it. Guess we'll go to Laura's first. Which is up here. We're gonna sprint. We're gonna sprint all the way. It's time to take a sip of tea. I need like a sipping animation. Hello, welcome viewer. Where are we going? Off here. Going to see the chef. Hello, Lady Laura. Uh, hello, Lady Laura. Is there something you need from me? There's a request I'd like to make if you, of you, if I may. Jesus, I cannot read right now. Would you happen to have any white seed on hand? Uh, of course. Why, well, it'd be crazy for me to not have some on hand. I've got it stored away, and I always make sure we never run out. How much do you need? I can give you the entire crate if you want. Well, I don't think we need quite that much. Well then, I suppose a small bag full should do the trick. Received. White seed. A bag full of white seed. Well, at least it doesn't come in a jar, I guess. Why, thanks. Anything for you, Lady Laura. All the people here really love her, don't they? I'll say. Alright. Now onto the highway, I guess. Onto the highway, wish I had my bike. Uh, where am I going? Straight over. Onwards to the highway. We're on the highway. And I cannot finish that song for legal reasons. Oh, all of the fog on the highway is dissipated as well. Yeah, it's so much easier to see all the surrounding areas now. Totally, I could hardly see my hand in front of my face yesterday. Well, at least we don't have to worry about getting lost today. We may find an 
find alternate routes through the area that we missed yesterday, too. It's very likely. We should keep an eye out for those while we're looking for the beast we need to slay. Ah, the beast. Onwards to find the beast. Where are we going? I can't imagine there'd be that many places that were hidden to it. Oh, okay. Maybe there will be. There's two routes to Ebel Highway 2. Well, well, well. I need items. What do I need? We have I forget what items I need. Go. Hmm, yeah. Game sounds a little loud. Oh wait, do I get Usus in the pie? Eh, yeah, it's fine. I'll have Usus in the pie. I'll handle this. I haven't got any links set up. I'll do it. Go. Okay. Who needs links, right? And turn my sound down on my end, because ow, my ears, my freaking ears. Oh man, I need, uh, I need, I really need to sort out my soundboard. Because having my freaking ears would be great. Looks like there's a path over this way too. I didn't notice it when we were passing yesterday. The mist is cleared today, which makes seeing paths through the, through the area much easier. And I think this path leads to the top of the hill. Perhaps, but we'll need to do something about this log before we can go there. Lammy could snap a log like this, like a toothpick. We'll leave all the heavy lifting t to you and Lammy then. Hope you don't mind. No problemo. Oh no. Characters with strike type field attacks of B rank or higher can destroy fallen logs and certain other objects. Does that include Laura? Because I really don't yeah. want to. Right. Oh, that's the wrong button. Right. Yeah, that does. Very well. Here we go. That does include Laura. Oh, we got one of these. Okay, so you can kind of maneuver around some of these. Oh, there's literally one of them. Well, that was totally worth it. My turn. Oh, come on. You still have a lot of training to do. Yeah, we're not getting a lot of XP for this now. Um, what items was it I actually needed? <laughs> I can't even remember. Uh, hearty powder, clear gel, and white seed. Um, clear gel and. I have hearty powder. Is that genuinely what I need? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I I already had all of those items. Okay. Okay, I had all of those items, so we do, we don't need to do any of this. But we're Ooh, gonna. That one looks tough. We're gonna do it. A worthy I adversary. probably shouldn't have attacked that one head on. Here we go. What do we got? Um. Slightly Focus. weak. Activate. Of course. I'll handle this. I forget what he has. Arcus activated. Well, that helps. Do yeah. some ish damage. Oh yeah, she doesn't have anything good. Let's do Ethereal Edge. Gleaming blade. Go. Yeah, at least I get that out of that. Laura. Of course. Here. Here. Huh. Nice. That's still gonna attack, but it missed. Oh, I hate that thing. That does fairly decent damage. Yeah, I haven't used Usus for a long time. I think just fall over. Okay, on this. Second form. Gale. 
Nice. Nice. Okay, it's safe for now. Triple kill to finish it off. Yeah, I really need a drinking animation. One that's like 20 seconds long, so it just gives me enough time to drink. Who's messaging me? Wait. Okay. All right. So yeah, I don't, basically I don't need to come out here to get all this stuff. So I may just may as well just come out here to kill this boss monster, mini boss monster, or whatever it is, and then return to the. Uh, Return to Lagran. I'm not gonna even bother. Here they come. Be careful, everyone. Here we go. Probably get them all. Second form. Damn. Yeah. Go. There. Yeah. I don't know why I've got Usus instead of um, Gaius. Yeah. My turn. Hey. Very well. Yeah, I think I actually prefer guys to use this in battle. God damn. It's my turn. Here we go. Yeah, I think I'm my gonna turn. swap uses out. Very well. Yeah. Yeah. The battle's over, but stay alert, everyone. Neat. Flaky potato. Delicious. Flaky potato. And, uh, that'll do it. Where am I going? Cross this little bridge. Oh wow, there's a river out here. Sure is. How the hell do you think you get a lake? I remember playing in this river when I was young. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. Son of a Our bitch! Monster. We'll need to be careful. No. Watch out. This is a tough one. Yeah. All right. We're gonna Arcus silver form. Of course. And then we're gonna just do crystal flood because I can't be bothered to deal with these. Here we go. And the second form. Put some gale yeah. too. Leave it to me. And then. Oh wow, he's only got airstrike. Have I not? I don't think I've equipped anything for him. That's great. Whirlwind! To me! Yeah, I need to make sure I equip bad uh, guys. No. Sepif. Uh. You're mine! Count him. Good thing guys has decent physical damage, right? Ish, kinda, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I should probably be using Melium. Gleaming blade. Go. Oh, nice. Here we nice. go. Nice. Yeah, not gonna use crops. Gonna use. <sighs> Arts. Oh, nice, nice, double nice. All right. Together, we're unbeatable. Not bad, not bad. We're getting to the point now where we're losing out on XP. And um, yeah, I haven't done any of. Yeah, he's got like no quartz equipped. <laughs> Alright, we're going, where are we going? Green. Green, green, green. Yeah, give him sleep, I guess. He needs more. Yeah, we'll give him that one. And... Leg breaker, I guess. I'm not really sure what I'm doing when it comes to all that stuff. Oh, we got a nice chest. Dawn boots. And 
Ooh, a whole bunch of Zephyr. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, she can have Dawn Boots. Yeah, that brings strength down for her. He can have those. He needs accessories. What do we got? Medal of Vigor. Uh, prevents stat down. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That one looks a bit wafty. It's enormous. Stay on guard. Don't let it see me. Yeah, okay now. Oh fuck you. A worthy adversary. These ones look different go. to the ones that we fought before. Or are they? Maybe they're not. Alright, fire it is. Yeah. Arcus, activate. It's my turn. And yeah, may as well use cross. Gleaming blades. Go! Oh nice. Now! An opening! Go get them more. Of course. No Should escape! Bring them all on. Yeah. Alright. Nice. Whirlwind! To me! Rubens! Double nice. Nice. That was probably a okay. waste, but Save whatever. They looked stronger than they were. We probably would have been fine. Making progress. And we'll that should suffice. Up. And Eusis would level up. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And... Tear bomb. That's always good. Nothing like a good tear bomb. Alright. Oh man, there's a bunch of these up here. If it's a fight they want. Here we go. It's a fight they'll get. Go! Gaius! Right, right! Oh man, all three of them, really. Oof. Yeah. Well, that was nice and easy. We should be safe now. I probably didn't need to use that. Is that Laura? Oh, nice. Uh, that was Gaius. Nice. Nice. EP charge free. Winds, give us your blessing. Go. Oh, these are gonna leave it to me. There. Oh, problem. Yeah. Oh, Laura, I am a... Those goddamn CP go. slips. Another one. All right. It's my turn. All right, don't miss this time. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. You still have a lot of training to do. How's Melium? Yeah. Level 46 Vermilion, yeah, and we got another battle, straight into another battle. Yeah. No missing, yeah, that's what's up. My turn. Huh. How's that not Leave dead? It to me. There. My turn. Oh, son of a bitch, and it counted. I can't believe you've done this. It's my turn, here, this is it, an opening. There we go. My turn. And it's done. You still have a lot of training to do. Well, they can't train now. It's dead, Laura. You killed it. You punched a fish to death. That is also something that I need. That's not a lot of. Alright, it's better. I mean, I assume that the enemy is going to be up, like, there. 
It's like a little plateau. Oh, it's so cool here, you'd hardly believe it's summer. The weather's pleasant today. A fine wind blowing too. I mean, it does seem like we'll a nice day. Way through. Go! Okay. Aggressive. Yeah. Here. Oh god damn it. There. Every right. time, Emma. With right. the goddamn misses. Oh no, this yeah. one's gonna get a critical. It's alright. Yeah. Emma's on the critical. Uh, and she actually hit Let's keep going. It's a Christmas miracle. Pretty sure Emma's the only one that's actually managed to miss one of those. So. Oh wow, yeah. I just realized I've got like no EP for Reen. And that's like 500. I'll do it. Also, no CP for Reen, so that's something. Yeah, it's around there. Bets on what it is. Let's go see. Resistance, uh, that's fun. Here we go. Go. Here. Yeah. Here. Of course. Leave it to me. There. Go. Okay. Here. Typically, when My you turn. get three times advantage, you can just attack huh? it out. You still have a lot of and training. And you're good to go. Ah. Ooh, Falco reached level four. Uh, Insight, airstrike, shining, Curia. Begin battle with Insight status. Lasts for five turns. Evasion up six percent. Nice. What? Um, nope. Oh no, it's art that I want. Recuria cures abnormal status. Okay, that's, that's actually a pretty useful one. What the hell is that? Looks like a mech. It is a mech. What the hell? We fully healed and everything. Yeah, we're about as good as we're gonna get. It, is that? Must be the monster Toval sent us out here to take care of. I've never seen anything like it. Is it even alive? Hmm, kind of looks more like some sort of machine. Any way you look at it, there's clearly something strange about that thing. I suppose that's why we've been sent to exterminate it. At this point, we can't just go back without finishing the job. Yeah, I say let's see what this monster is made of. On your guard, everyone. A worthy adversary. Here we go. All right, kicking in with that mini boss music that I love so much. All right, let's do this. Motivate everyone. Drink up. Okay. And she's got some. Moon, shield us from harm. Crescent shell. For some reason, that doesn't apply to Emma. My turn. I'm gonna go straight in with armor breaker. Shatter. Because I have a funny feeling that's gonna come in handy. All right. Probably see what. Oh no. My turn. Do, 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 do. I love this song so much. I could literally just sit and listen to this for ages. I may just put it into one of my streams as like a background or something. Um. Yeah, I was gonna see what is it weak against? Nothing in particular. Okay. Go. 
Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna unbalance it as best we can. Yeah. Gleaming blade. Go. My turn. Okay, it's lost its. Uh... Oh, it hasn't even got that much health to be fair. Shatter. No. This is pretty uh -huh. easy. I don't think this deserves this great music. It's only got like, unless this has got two phases. No. Go. Here we go. Okay, this should do it. Seventeen hundred. That's the power of the eight leaves. All right, that's gonna do that one. Double teamed times two. I, bet was, I wish it was uh, a bit more forthcoming with uh, how you get those multipliers. They're not always that descriptive. Right. <laughs> Ring not up bad. to 47, lore up to 47, we're all good here. I'm kind of expecting a second phase. Is it dead? It seems more appropriate to say we destroyed it. Yeah, I didn't get the feeling we were fighting a living creature. A mechanical monster. What's something like this doing out on the highway near the ground? Might our intelligence division cadet be able to shed some light on this? You are the one with mysterious mechanical companion, after all. That's a good point, actually. I don't think this thing's any relation of Lammy's. For one thing, looks like it's made of metal. That's true. Our Gatlam and the combat shells we use in our practical exams seem to be made of some other substance. And while they may be inorganic, the combat shells do have a certain kind of warmth to them. I don't see how that matters. They all seem suspicious. But Milliam's probably right. This thing doesn't seem enough like our Gatlam to link the two. Let's head back to Lagram. I have a feeling Tova will want to hear about this as soon as possible. True. He may even know something about it himself. Back to Lagram it is then. Back to the ground. We're going that one. Oh, there is a chest. Oh, there seems to be a. We have nothing to fear. Oh, Christ. Go. All right. Getting some gale. Gale. Okay. Can I get three? No, can only get two. Gleaming oh, blade. Those two it is then. All right. Whirlwind. Two again. To me. I just don't really right. feel like getting attacked by these. No escape. Yeah. Off guard. I have. Here we go. Has a chance. Here. Neat. <laughs> the winds must be on our side. They must sure be, because that was a breeze. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha, uh -huh. I see what you did there, Reen. I'm sure that, uh... Shining. I'm sure that Gaius really appreciates you making puns of his religion. Alright, let's run back this way, because I don't feel like fighting too many monsters. Uh, yeah, let's go back this way, I guess. Yeah! Right! Alright, here we go! To be fair, I think Gaius could probably cut through that, but I don't know. Physically I would say Gaius is the strongest, but Laura always seems to prove to be even stronger, so Where we go? Well, we're literally just gonna go straight for her. I'm not dicking about with any side paths, side quests, no nothing. No muss, no fuss. Just make sure I'm going the right way. See, this is where I prefer random encounters, because it would actually give me some fights on the way back. Because I'm a little over. Something seems to miss here. 
town isn't usually this noisy. Huh? Oh man, I hope we haven't... Looks like the line is back at the harbour. But who are those weird people around it? That's weird. Who are these guys? With the weird... yeah. They look like soldiers from one of the provincial armies. It certainly seems that way. White and purple. I seem to remember seeing those colours back in Heimdall. I believe that combination of colours represents the Le Maire Provincial Army. But Le Maire is on the other side of the Empire. What business could their Provincial Army have in Le Grand? Hey, looks like you're back. Toval? Um, do you have any idea what's going on here? Word on the street is they requisitioned the liner from the wharf in the far shore. So, why we're seeing a mass provincial army and not Sutherland's is still kind of a mystery. Uh, apparently, though, some big shot noble is visiting the Viscount as we speak. Another noble visiting father? Who could possibly? Uh, it's a bit concerning. Well, if you're curious, why don't you go take a look for yourselves? Since you returned from the highway, that means you took care of that monster, right? Well, that is true. Actually, there was something we wanted to ask you about regarding that. The group gave a brief description of the monster they fought to Tovo. A mechanical monster, you say? Tovo? You have some idea as to what it might be? Well, I'm not sure. But I think I'll go have a look at what's left of it, just in case. Anyway, good work out there, guys. Here's your reward. Ooh, upgrade material times seven. I'll leave the checking out what's going on in the Viscount's mansion to you. Oh, I'd better be able to turn that other quest in. Huh? He definitely seems like he knows something we don't. Hmm. Well, for now, there's no harm in leaving the matter to him. Right, we should see what's going on at Laura's house. Agreed. Okay, I can turn that one in, I think. It's good, because I need to go to... Yeah, I can turn that in. I need to go to the store and buy some weapons. And... shop. I got some... Nope. Uh, nope. Exchange, that's the one. God damn. Oh my god. Everything is so difficult. There we go. So he's got his... I didn't get one for her. I'll grab that. I'm not going to equip it yet. And we'll grab that. And then I guess... I'm uh, more likely to use Millium, I think. I don't think I've got enough now to... <laughs> so I've got, like... Uh, I do I need clear gel and that, so... Let's just sell all this chitinous shell. That should do it. Alright, customize weapon. So that one we did. We want the glare wand. And then we want Corsica. Corsesca. Oh, and I haven't got enough for upgrade materials. Son of a. Can I buy upgrade materials? No, of course I can't buy upgrade materials. That would make it too easy. Alright. Player one. You know, I wish games would give you different skins for the weapons. Like, this weapon's cool and all, it looks cool. I just want different skins for different weapons. Is that so much to ask? Well, the party's all sorted out, so that's all that really matters. Alright, let's go and... 
Down in the chat. Strutting room. around another lord's territory. How pompous can you get? Well, sounds like there's a real VIP here. To be fair, Eustace. Well, let's return to the manor for now. Hello, everyone. Have you managed to gather the ingredients I need? We sure have. There you go. Green handed over. Hearty powder times five. Green handed over. Clear gelatin times five. Oh, and here's the white seed you wanted. Laura handed over the bag of white seed. God damn. Thank you so much. This should be plenty. Could you wait in the adjoining room while I mix up a trial batch then? Sister Ferramus made her pretzels and handed out a sample to everyone. How do they taste? I'm a little surprised, to be honest. In a good way, I mean. Indeed, these are actually better than I was expecting. I need to posture check. Tasty and filling and free! Thinking that the Eisenritter may have eaten something like this to keep on fighting is kind of moving, really. It really is. But thank goodness. Um, and what do you think of them, Lady Laura? Oh, my apologies. I was so engrossed in the taste that I forgot to speak up. They're delicious. If I hadn't seen you make them, I'd swear they came from the kitchen of a professional chef like Joseph. Thank you for giving me the chance to try them. Phew. Hey, Laura. Hmm? There's still some time before the memorial service, but how about we offer some of these to s these at St. Sandlot's statue now? Hmm, I'd like that. After all, there's no limit on when you can leave an offering. Would you mind if we took some along then, sister? Not at all. It would be rude of us to indulge in all these on our own, after all. Please go on and take some. Received Le Grand Pretzel. Delicious... Le Grand Pretzel. <laughs> well, let's be on our way then. Now I've got pretzel power! Yay! Pretzel power! Pretzel power! Get the power! Pretzel power! Is that... are we... Can we do that? Oh, oh wait, no, it's the um, it's this one. Listen, listen. There we go, pretzel. There we go. I'm sure this will put a smile on her face. Now all that's left is for us to pray. Are there are any special requirements for prayers of this sort? Not particularly, but it is the custom to remain quiet while prayers are being offered. Whoop whoop! Let's get our praying on then. I was focusing so hard on being quiet, I ended up holding my breath. Are you guys still going? It was a valiant battle to remain silent for even a single minute, but alas, victory remained elusive. Don't be too harsh on her. Well then, shall we make our way back to the chapel? Yeah, we should report back to Sister Faramus, just in case. Thank you so much for your help, everyone. I feel bad about having you run all the all around town just for my sake. No worries, we're always glad to lend a hand. Yeah, never done a job where pretzels are, were a fringe benefit, but it was worth it. They really were delicious. If the batch you make for the memorial service turns out that good, you have nothing to worry about. I'll do everything I can to make sure that's the case. Oh, I've yet to offer you all your reward for helping me. It's not much, but please take these. Thank you very much. I'll be sure to put them to good use. That's one down, at least. Yeah, let's move right on to the other one. Wait, but I've done the other one. Right? I don't have to turn in at the Bracer Guild, do I? I just have to go up here. Go see what the lords are doing. Burst through the doors. Hey, yo! Oh. Hey, isn't that... 
Who is it? Who is it? Who is that? There's no need to be so hasty. At least give me my proposal some thought. Your attendance would add an extra degree of prestige to our gathering. I'm merely the lord of a minor rural region. Surely you overstate the importance of my presence. A man's worth is decided not by himself, but by those he rubs elbows with. And while I'm sure you understand, I'd appreciate it if you didn't do anything to cause any unnecessary conflict. I'm not sure giving combat training to the Imperial Army is something you ought to be doing either. After all, neither of us want any trouble now, do we? I... And with that, I bid you a fond farewell. Oh, and my compliments on the excellent tea. I am honoured, your grace. See ya. Excuse us. Oh, those guys are like Reno and Rude. That's, a, that's the voices I gave them on the spot. You know, you got the Rude's voice, which is very sort of low-key. And Reno just kind of brash. No, if it isn't young Laura. And Eustace Alberea, too. It's a pleasure to see you again, Your Grace. I appreciate all you continue to do for my father. They must know him. Yeah, but look at how tense they are. I wasn't expecting him to show up here, of all people. That's Duke Kayen, head of the foremost of the four great houses, and ruler of the port city of Ordis. This authority extends over the entire province of Lemaire to the west. Duke Kayen. He's got a fiery temper. Peppery. Something to do with peppers. I'd love to stay and talk a while, but I'm afraid other urgent matters call me away. I'll endeavour to arrange another opportunity for us to meet in the near future. But for now, I bid you farewell. Oh, what have we here? So, your Force Military Academy's Class 7, huh? How do you... Oh, just happened to do a little leisure time reading on your class. Not a bad looking bunch. Good, good. Uh, um... Enough with the chit chat. His grace awaits. Excuse us. See ya, kids. Who are those men? They don't look like soldiers from a provincial army, that's for sure. And they did seem to know about our class. I presume they're personal bodyguards hired by Duke K.N. Father. You needn't look so concerned. However, it seems like they've finally begun to act. The noble faction has begun acting in secret? Indeed, for the past month they've been quite active behind closed doors. No doubt they're trying to reaffirm their unity, holding conference after conference all across the country. Of course, I'm sure this isn't news to our, your youngest classmate. Well, yeah. The intelligence division's all on edge wondering whether they're about to start a full-scale conflict with the reformists. Seriously? <laughs> so that's what they've been up to is scurrying around all this time. But since Duke Kayen's basically the leader of the noble faction, I sure wasn't expecting him to come all the way out here in person. Nor was I. They appear to be planning a large conference in the near future to be attended by all members of the noble faction. The Duke came all the way out here to insist that I attend. But father, you're not even a member. Quite right, my lady. Your father has long kept his distance from the faction. In the same way, he has also kept space between himself and the reformists, preparing to remain neutral. However, they're convinced that all nobles should be belong to the noble faction as a matter of course. I've heard they've been quite forceful about bringing those nobles who don't support the faction into their ranks. Would I be correct in assuming that my family is involved in all of this? I'm afraid so. There's been some disagreement over whether Duke Kayen or Duke Gaborea should lead the four great houses. But I expect that Eva would bring the same platform to the table. Useless. 
if you don't mind my asking, do you happen to know where, where my family stands on the issue? <laughs> you need not worry about your family's allegiances. Lord Schwartz is widely known as an even more obstinate man than I. I can't imagine that he'd have any interest in supporting the questionable actions of other nobles. I see. I'm actually a little relieved to hear you say that. Hmm. Hold on a moment. Perhaps there's a move we can make after all. I'm afraid I'll be leaving Legram again on another of my little trips. I apologize for the suddenness, but please tend to things in my absence. As you wish, my lord. Father? Wow, well that was sudden. I believe in acting swiftly and decisively. I intend to establish contact with all of the nobles who have remained neutral in the ongoing fictional, factional conflict. Fictional conflict. <laughs> so as to prevent them being taken in by the nobles' faction's coercive methods. Ah, father. A prudent course of action, I think. In that case, I'd be happy to come with you. Toval, what are you doing here? Ah, so you're here as well. Heh, <laughs> wouldn't miss the chance to catch a glimpse of the majestic Duke K.M. Did you know he left in a limousine that came all the way from Bereahard? Wait, then. It couldn't have. Did it belong to the Alborea family? Well, Rufus Alborea got into it, so yeah, I'd like to say that's likely. Gonna ask for a classier escort. Oh, man. Wait. Are the Liberation... Oh, oh the Liberation Front. They're the guy... Oh, the, it's an inside job. It's all an inside job. Maybe. Oh, an inside job, maybe. Well, there goes Duke Alberia. That's my water bowl shit. I hate when it leans back like that when I take a drink. So, Rufus was here? Well, he is the heir of the Alborea family. Considering our visitor was none other than Duke K.N., it's not at all surprising that Rufus would pick him up. But I know you didn't just come here to volunteer your company on my trip. Well, it just so happens that these guys here brought me a pretty curious story. We've got confirmation that the mechanical monster appeared on the highway outside of Grant. Is that so? I believe this is the first time one's appeared since the counter-offensive Sir Cassius launched two years ago. That's right. Come to think of it, that was the first time we met, wasn't it? It was indeed. What a strange coincidence. Have any others been found in the area? Nothing so far. This is just a hunch, but I suspect it may have been released as a diversion. I concur. Hmm, perhaps having you come with me is the best course of action after all. Oh, right, that's what I wanted to hear. Father. Sounds like there's a lot more going on here than just factions butting heads. Sorry, can't say anything for certain just yet. But if we turn anything, turn up anything concrete, I'll be sure to tell Sarah and she'll pass it on. Man, there's some fuckery afoot. <laughs> oh man, everything's going weird. Alright, here's what I got for you this afternoon. Received field study envelope, August. A golden catch. Calling all fishermen, could someone catch me the elusive gold salmon? Find me at the Epricose Inn for more detailed information. Is that it? When you're finished up for the day, I'd appreciate if you could head to the guild and file your reports. I left you a note in the account telling you how to do it. Nothing too difficult. Got it. Leave it to us. Just make sure to lock up before you leave for the night. Someone else should be coming in to take care of things tomorrow. Understood. We'll do our best to take care of the guild in your absence. <laughs> I wish you well in your studies. 
And I hope you'll forgive me for leaving so suddenly. Not to worry, father. I'm used to it. Thank you again for your hospi hospitality and for agreeing to, do to a duel. I look forward to our next meeting. As do I. You show great promise as a swordsman. I hope you'll continue to devote yourself to your studies and training alongside my daughter. I'm honored, sir. In fact, I hope all of you will look past her uncouth father and continue giving her your friendship and support. As a single father, the fact that I've yet to hear any tales of budding romance concerning my daughter has me worried. But father, it would be our pleasure. He sure does seem popular with the girls, though. Aha! I pray you have a safe journey. Thank you for all you've done for us. Catch you later then. Give my best to Sarah. With a little winky face. Nice. Alright. Posture check again. Oh, why must he always be so... <laughs> Honestly, you've got one amazing dad. Free-spirited, open-minded, not to mention incredibly strong. Having met him, I can tell you how you grew up like you did. Huh? <laughs> Reen's right, you know. You're living proof that great parents lead to great children. I suppose having someone like him in your life as a role model would naturally lead you to aspire to greatness. Well, that or feel woefully inadequate in comparison and develop an inferiority complex. But all told, you're living proof the daughter of the Arsaid house has grown up sound in mind and body. Stop teasing me at once. <laughs> Moving on, Tovel has entrusted us with looking after the guild. We may have only half a day remaining, but we still have our duties to f fulfill. <laughs> Look at her trying to change the subject. I am not. <laughs> One additional quest was added. After you return to the guild to file your reports, time of day will advance to evening and the main story will proceed. So. Right. So, Golden Catch. Apricose Inn. I mean, I don't have to do this. I can just go straight into the Bracer Guild and that'll be it, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the thing. Gone fishing. Oh, hello everyone. Have you come along after seeing the requests I sent to Tobal? That's right. You're in search of some sort of elusive fish, correct? I am, I am. I feel like I should apologize for asking you guys to help me with a personal request. But are you up for it? If you are, I can share the details with you all right now. You're in luck. I'll schedule... schedule just happens to have an opening. Ah, thank you very much. Just like the request mentioned, I want you guys to seek out a certain elusive fish for me. It's a peculiar variety of salmon known as gold salmon. Just like the name says, its body has a golden glow, not unlike the look of Goldia itself. That must be an exquisite fish. It sounds rather garish, honestly, but I'd have to see it to judge for myself. Have you ever seen this fish before, Weber? Unfortunately, all I know are what I've heard from the rumors. Ben, who's usually fishing at the back of the inn, is actually the one who told me about it. Its golden color isn't its only distinctive trait either, he said. He mentioned that its flavor is to die for, too. Oh, now you've got my attention. <laughs> I'm afraid I'd be lying if I said I wasn't interested in taste myself. That's certainly understandable after hearing so much about it. I wanted nothing more than to try it. I've been bugging Toval about it for quite a while now, and now it seems like, thanks to you, I might finally get my chance to try it. Fishing, huh? I guess bracers even take on jobs like this. If this fish is so elusive, though, what are the chances we could even catch one before the day's end? That does seem to be the most obvious issue here. Is it even possible to catch this fish in Lake Ebel? Doesn't seem so, unfortunately. Ben mentioned that he did catch several of them here at one point, but he hasn't found one on the end of his line for several decades now. That doesn't exactly inspire confidence, you know. How would we go about catching it then, and where? Well, I've actually received some promising info from Toval that put me in back on the trail. He claims he's seen a golden sparkle in a river along the highway several times now. 
All the sparkle items have been in different locations, though. Hmm. Well, at least that narrows our search to the river. True. It'll be much easier than trying to search the lake would be. We might be able to find it, then. I know it won't be easy, but I'd be pleased as punch if you did catch one. But now I think... Now I think of it, do you have the right tools for the job? Sure do. Brought my rod with me. Will this work? Hmm, let's see. What you got there? Rain showed his rod to weep. <laughs> ah. Hmm, I'm not sure this is going to cut it. Uh, gold salmon is supposedly quite a hefty fish. This rod is designed for smaller catches. I think you might be better off using one of our loner rods. Received. Deluxe rod. Well, I've got a deluxe rod now. Sorry about that. I'll be sure to make good use of this. That allow us to make our way then. Yeah, let's go. Alright, so we gotta go out onto the highway. There's a river. Uh, golden salmon in a river just off the highway. Alright, where are we going? Let's go catch a fish. Alright, I need some fucking water after doing that silly voice. Oh, let's go catch a fish. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Where was that stream? It was up this way, wasn't it? Yeah, there's, yeah, because there was a bridge. Let's just run past these monsters, they're not going to do any good to us. Oh, this uh, woman. What the hell did you do? <laughs> whoop, whoop, accidental slash. That shiny golden glow. I simply can't wait to catch it. This seems like a good spot to fish, but I wasn't expecting someone to be here already. She seems to be an ordinary civilian, and noble at that. I'm surprised she strayed this far from town. Should we try talking to her? Yeah, might as well. Excuse me, could we talk to you for a moment? L who are you? Wait, I recognize you. You're that military academy student that saved me in my hour of need several months ago. Oh, yeah, I think we did meet once before. Oh, so you know her? Yeah, we ran into her while we were out in Celdic. Keldic? Keldic. On our very first field study. Now I remember, one of our tasks involved delivering a lost wallet to its owner. And it just so happened that the wallet belonged to this lady in front of us. Hmm, I see. I'm very grateful for what you did to me. Sadly, that wallet has become rather lighter since you returned it to me. Oh? Might we ask what brings you out here? I would have thought that was obvious. I'm trying to catch my dinner, of course. Some may think of fishing as a leisurely hobby, but I would beg to differ. It's proven to be an essential survival skill. I see. I don't remember her being anything like this last time. So, what inspired you to come this far out of town to fish? You could have just sat on a dock in Lagram, right? She could have, yes. Lagram is conveniently situated right on the shores of Lake Ebel, after all. Surely it wasn't necessary to brave the dangers of the highway to come out this far just to fish. That's where you're wrong, I'm afraid. First-class angler needs a first-class spot. Easy fishing on the shores of a peaceful lake just wouldn't satisfy me. What is with this woman? She's certainly a unique individual. Sounds like you're after something special, if I had to guess. Indeed I am. I've come here seeking the elusive gold salmon. I heard tales of it from a gentleman on a ground by the name of Ben. But he also informed me that it cannot be found in Lake Ebel, which is what led me to this spot. And sure enough, not long ago, I finally caught a glimpse of a golden glimmer beneath the water's surface here. A golden glimmer? That sounds a lot like what Tobal said he saw too. Looks like this must be the spot, then. I would have, should have known that you would be searching for it too. Very well, then. Let us compete to see who can catch a gold salmon first. That's not really what I had in mind when we came out here. That aside, we seem to have found our location. True enough, let's get fishing. I go that side. Or is it Ooh, this looks like a good spot. That does look like a good spot. 
go with the deluxe. Fish. Ready, set, fish. Yeah, that's a fish. What do we got? That's what do we got? Catch. What do we got? Gold salmon! Yeah! We got a gold salmon, guys. Nice. Space setup. And recovered 75 CP. Impossible. You caught a gold salmon before me? How can this be happening? Now you make me feel kind of bad about it. Still, thank you very much for telling us about the golden glimmer you saw. We may not have fought to fish here if not for your guidance. Fair play is a necessary element in any competition. Think nothing of it. Besides, I simply pay the price for underestimating you. It was my fault that I lost. I thought my experiences over the past several months had strengthened me, but it seems I still have room to improve. And improve I shall. Until one day, I'm known across the land as the finest angler in all of Erebonia. Well then, I bid you good day. Yeah, more power to you. Yeah. Whew. All right, back to town. I'm not fighting anything. I don't want to fight anything right now. We got your damned fish. Take your frickin' fish. <laughs> All right, back to the fishman. Fishman, I have your fish. That woman dusting the outside. Here you go, fishman. Hey there, everyone. Do my eyes deceive me, or is that the legendary gold salmon you have there? Defying all the odds, it actually is. Here you go. Reen handed the gold salmon to Weaver. Oh, and here's your rod back. Reen returned the deluxe rod. Oh my, it's it's so beautiful. I really can't thank you enough. It's even more splendid than in Ben's tales. Now I can see why people liken its appearance to Goldia, too. So, when are you going to cook it for us? Really now? <laughs> I see you're as curious about its taste as I am. Naturally, I have every intention of sharing the taste of this triumphant catch with all of you. As for how to bring out the finest flavor, river, t river fish tend to be best suited to grilling, so just wait a few minutes while I fire up the grill. I'm kind of looking forward to this now. And to think, we got some food from one of our morning tasks too. <laughs> it feels like we've just been stuffing our faces today. True, true. It feels like that every day at the moment. And so, it was with forks held high, they all dug in and enjoyed the fruits of their labor. Well then, what do you guys think? Where do I even start? Well, the amount of fat was just perfect. Sublime, even. Agreed. I never would have imagined it would taste this exquisite. I'm glad to see my earlier skepticism was wholly unwarranted. It's hard to believe that this was just grilled. Yeah, I didn't even think that you could get a fish that tasty. <laughs> glad you liked it. Even I was surprised at how delicious it was. It just melts in your mouth. I feel like it's my duty to share it with the rest of the town now. It looks like I'll have to put in another request with Tovel. I'm sure he'll gladly accept. Yeah, once he hears about how good it is, he'd have to be crazy to turn down the opportunity. You said it. Honestly, though, I want to thank you again for all your help. Uh, unfortunately, all I can offer is stock from the store, but please take it. Fresh herbs, acerbic tomatoes, chitna shells, which I've recently just sold all of. I wish you all the best with your, the rest of your field study. Thank you. Good day, then. All right, back to the Braces Guild. And that's going to do it for this day. Yep. Ah, oh, mother trucker, dude. What? Like, that should be the default. That should be the default. Mother trucker. 
Thus, the members of Group A brought their fruitful day of work to an end. And following the instructions Toval left for them, they began the not quite as exciting process of filing the paperwork. Ah, yes. The job isn't finished until the paperwork is done. I haven't had any good, uh... Oh, are you finished? Yeah, we just finished getting everything sorted out. Goodness, that was exhausting. That little brat, she could at least try and help instead of lying around like a house cat. I can't say I'm surprised. I doubt she's used to spending this long on such exciting tasks. Oh well, we're almost finished. <laughs> Alright then. Still, it really goes to show how top-rate Tobal is. He fulfills a lot of requests on his own. And still has time to handle all the day-to-day -day re realities of running a guild branch. Indeed, it's even more impressive when you consider that he finds time to visit other regions of the country as well. His mobility and knack for solving problems are exactly what one would expect from a bracer. The guild may have been forced out of the country, but he's still out there trying to help as many people as he can. Even when we were in Berehard, he came to our aid. And if you look at all these records, it's clear that the people really trust him and rely on him for help. That's very true, but... Is something the matter? No, I was just thinking. If braces play an essential role to the people of other countries, are they not just as essential to Erebonians? Well... You may be right. Eh, not just because they help maintain public order and provide other services. That ideal, prioritizing the protection of civilians above all else, is pretty noble. It's something people admire. That's certainly true. In many ways, it's that form of nobility that's beginning to fall by the wayside within Erebonia's arist aristocracy. I'm not sure the issue is as black and white as you'd have it. The Guild is an organization first and foremost, and one based far too much on idealism. And far too little on practicality. Donations and public funding can only go so far in covering its operating costs. And it's no stretch at all to say that with the Empire as it is now, the Guild's removal was inevitable. That's what my brother said once when we discussed this. Useless. Looks like his brother is weighing on his mind. And I suppose that's another way to look at it. I have to admit, it sounds rather cold and dismissive, but it does carry more weight coming from Rufus Alborea. <laughs> Emma, they're so big! <laughs> and so... <laughs> oh, Milliam. Milliam? Look at that, she doesn't even have to be awake to be an irritant. Anyway... <laughs> it shouldn't take too much longer to finish filing the rest of the reports. We should focus on getting everything done and returning to the mansion. It sounds good to me. Excuse me, is anyone here? Oh, you're the girl who works at Whitehouse store, aren't you? Oh, Lady Laura. Is Toval here by any chance? I'm afraid Toval's out of town on business at the moment. Is something the matter? They haven't come home. Julian and Kano still haven't come back from back home from the castle. Wait, you don't mean... Did those two go to, to Lonegren Castle? Surely you don't mean to suggest they took a boat without any supervision. I'm afraid so. They said something about going on an adventure. Then they took one of the boats without even asking. It's evening now and they still haven't come back. This sounds like a serious problem. Yeah, and right when Toval is away from the guild, too. We'll just have to do whatever we can to help out. I agree. We can't just stand around and hope they'll come back. If we were to search the lake, we'll need a boat ourselves. I'll have class prepare one for us at once. While you do that, I'll wake up Milliam and we'll have another look around the town to see if we can find them. Splitting up and searching the town does seem to be the best course of action. Thank you. Rest assured, we'll do all we can to find them. Okay. The group searched the town from top to bottom, but they found no sign of the missing children. 
By the time the other residents became aware of what was happening, the evening had given way to night. Oh great, we're going to have to go to that castle at night. Well, I think it's safe to say the boys aren't in town. Well, Finn Lizzie would have you believe otherwise. Looks like they really head out toward the castle in a boat. Well, the lake's been calm and there's no sign of a boat on the water, so at least it's unlikely they capsized. Ugh. Guess that leaves the castle then, right? Lone Grim Castle was once the stronghold of the Isenritter. And while the Arsaid family is still its stewards, it's rare that anyone ventures inside. I hope nothing terrible has happened to them. Their parents are really worried too. I've asked them to stay at home and wait for us to contact them, but... At this point, all we can do is venture into the castle and see what we find. We have use of a boat now, don't we? We do. A couple students from the Arsaid school are preparing an orbital boat for us as we speak. It does worry me that it has started to grow misty again, though. Well, let's head down to the wharf. Let's make sure all of our equipment is sorted and we have everything we need. Just in case. Right, let's hurry. Alright, down to the docks. We gotta head on over. I don't want to eat our pretzel. No, the pretzel's still there. Sweet. It's pretty good. I see the orbital boat has been prepared. My lady, yes, we just finished getting it ready for your departure. So this is an orbital boat, huh? Looks kind of fun. This hardly seems like the time to be getting excited for a boat ride. I've operated orbital boats before, so I'll steer us to our destination. Alright, we'll leave it to you then. My lady, please wait. I, I still feel we ought to be the ones out going out and searching. You shouldn't have to trouble yourself with matters like these. I appreciate your concern, but as the Viscount's daughter, I feel this is part of my duties to the people of Lagrange. It also happens to fall under the scope of our field study. Can't deny that. We'll do all we can to support her, you needn't worry. Very well. I doubt there's anything more I can say that get you to change your mind. The last patrol of the castle was just a few days ago, and there was no sign of anything unusual then. And it shouldn't be that dangerous. Hmm, really? The wind blowing from the direction of the castle does feel pure. It's said the castle's atmosphere is cold and clear due to its connections with St. Sandlot and the Isenrit. It's highly uncommon for monsters to settle there, so the children are most likely safe. Although it's impossible to rule out that an accident may have befallen them. Either way, we need to get over there and find out as soon as possible. Indeed, we should depart at once. Is everyone ready to depart? After departing for Longgren Castle, you'll be unable to return to town while your investigation is underway. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, ready whenever you are. Please take care, my lady. I and the other students will be awaiting your safe return. Thank you, I promised that whatever's out there will take care of it. Okay, okay, let's get this show moving. We're gonna get some boat, sweet boat footage. Oh yes, we got some boat. Getting that boat. We're on a boat. What do you think's waiting for us inside that castle? So you passed out on the couch the moment we returned to the guild, but now you're simply popping with energy. Milliam, you know this isn't a game, right? I know, I know. But as long as Lammy's with us, there's nothing to worry about. Let's just grab those kids so we can go exploring. Um, Milliam? Uh, she doesn't seem nervous in the slightest. That's weird. It's the Bell of Awakening. Someone defeated the Bell Gargoyles. Did you guys just hear a bell? Yeah, it came from the direction of the castle. Well... Lundgren Castle does have a bell tower, but as far as I was aware, access to it had been sealed off. Uh, and then who's ringing it? A bell tolling at night in the old stronghold of the Eisenritter? We'd best be prepared for anything. We're almost there. Let's make sure we're prepared before we head ashore. Oh, this will be fun. Well, here we are. That's the other boat. 
Hey, do you think that's the boat the children took? I can't imagine who else it would be. At least they appear to have reached the castle safely. And then it's safe to assume they went inside as well. It's well past sundown now, we need to find them as soon as we can. I bet that fucking cat is in there somewhere. Looks like that path will take us up the cliff. Right. That path will take us to the castle's entrance. Mind your footing though, the night is dark and the trail uneven. Come on, let's just get in here. I'm ready. I'm ready. Can't smash any of this stuff. Disappointing. Alright. So this is St. Sandlot's old stronghold, Lohengrin Castle. This is the first That's time I've come here at night. Be careful of your footing. It's extra dark when you've got a ring light. <laughs> like right oh, in your face. That? Something strange about the castle. Wait, I see Is something. Is that glow just the moonlight? I swear I've seen something up there. This is weird. Alright, almost there. Almost there. Gonna make it to the castle. Why is it glowing? Is it the cat? I bet it's the cat. Oh man, action points and mine are both streaming then. So this is Lohengrin Castle. Sure is. The ancient stronghold of Saint Sandlot. Gathering place of the warriors of old. It looks even more beautiful up close. Yeah, but what's up with that weird glow? I've been here several times before, but I've never seen it like this. I can sense a very strange wind blowing from within. It doesn't feel like monsters, though. That means it's spirits. Hmm? I can feel it, too. Like something is writhing around inside. That means it's a snake. <laughs> I feared as much. I can definitely sense the presence of yeah, the dead. Yeah, the presence of the dead. Emma? Emma knows what's up. I'm alright, but we're going to need to tread carefully in there. Right. There's no telling what may happen when we venture inside. We should make certain we're ready before entering. I f think that means I'm gonna need people with... So I need Emma and the team. I think I'm gonna need Milliam and the Usus. Um, not Usus, Gaius, Steven. God, I'm getting names wrong and everything. This is crazy. There's something very strange happening here. Let's make sure we're ready for whatever we may find inside. Should we go in right away? Let's go, let's do this. I should have saved it before we went in, but I'll save it just as we get to the other side of the door. It'll be fine. Yeah, it's going to have those weird, the extra elements that are in play for this one, I think. Ah! <laughs> <sighs> it won't budge. Did the door just seal itself shut on its own? That's definitely. Lammy, bust it open! I don't think even Lammy's gonna be able to bust it open. Looks pretty sealed to me. Well, that was unexpected. No! So not even Eric Gatlum can break us out of here? It appears that there's a barrier in place. What kind of barrier? Are you talking about that strange symbol that appeared on the door for a moment? How would you know something like that, Emma? Well, I've always had a pretty strong sixth sense about these kinds of things. So sometimes I can sense things that aren't visible to the naked eye. 
That explains the cat. Uh, six yes. cents. Hmm. Fascinating. Come to think of it, this isn't the first time you've reacted strangely to unusual phenomena. Eustace has a point. I've heard that people from the church can make use of some strange powers. So are you a sister of the church or something? Um, kind of the opposite. <laughs> oh, uh, you got me. I've always been a big supporter of the church. I um, doubt it somehow. I'm not sure what you're getting at. Emma, just who are you? We got bells. <laughs> More bell gargoyles. Bell gargoyles. Bell gargoyles everywhere. What's that sound? It's the bell we heard earlier. Something's approaching to the left and the right. Ah, crap. Those look weird. <sighs> Monsters, is it? No. These are no ordinary beasts. But we're going to have to fight them all the same. Let's go, Lemmy! <laughs> go! Fair enough. So... I assume attacks are going to be out, right? <laughs> eh, not too bad. My turn. I'm going to take 100% damage of that. Uh, it's just attack. Doesn't it's seem to turn. have a lot of health. Of course. Holy shit! I didn't do that quick enough. Holy crap. Okay, so these guys can just kind of do whatever the fuck they want, right? So we're gonna get our asses handed to us here. Looks like we beat them. Are you alright, Milliam? Oh, what were those things? Mysterious spirits. Though perhaps it would be more appropriate to call them fiends. Yeah, fiends. Now we're talking Final Fantasy Either 10. Either way, they were no ordinary opponents. The higher elements seem to be present here as well. And I suspect that's true of the whole castle. Yeah, it did feel that way. Though I'm still not sure what the ringing bell from earlier has to do with anything. <sighs> This place seems to be even more dangerous than we could have anticipated. And as long as that barrier remains in place, so will we. We're going to need to search for a way out. Wait, I, I think I skipped something then. Okay, Emma. It looks like we're going to need to rely on this sixth sense of yours in order to navigate this castle safely. You don't have to tell us anything if you're not comfortable. Right now, our safety is in your hands. Can we count on you? Yes, of course. All right, then time is of the essence. With fiends like those roaming the castle, I'm even more worried about the children. True. We should start looking right away. We're going already! Can't we rest here a little longer? <laughs> <laughs> those fiends scared the strength right out of your legs? No! That's totally not it! You're more than welcome to stay here and wait. <laughs> oh, waiting by myself would be even worse! All right, let's see what we can find. Right. Emma can now use the S-Craft, Lord Albarian. All right, so. And let's... Oh dear. All right, so we got spirits in here. Uh, could I could see. I just waste uh, just wasted my time healing Laura. Fantastic. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick save and you're like half an hour left on the stream. Uh, I don't know, man. Should I carry on here? No. 
Now you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it now because that I mean I got like half an hour left. I wanna get a nice early night tonight. We're gonna be back at this again on Friday night. A little bit later than usual, but we will be back on Friday night. And I will be with you for more Trails of Cold Steel. And if you've been watching this on Twitch, I thank you for watching. If you've been watching this on YouTube, I thank you for watching. And I ask you to please rate, comment, subscribe, all that shit. And uh, click on the social media links that are down in the description below. And I will catch you on the flip side.